In today's video, we'll take a look at all the functions that take a single character and output them on the on a stream or on a basically on the console or on the standard output. So let's take a look. First, you might be familiar with put char. So here, if I say put char, and this guy takes in an integer. Curiously, but it's really going to uh, convert that to a character. So if I type in here, for example, let's say the character E and I run it, you'll notice I'll get the character E on the screen. So that's very simple. If you want to, pr to print a single character on the screen, you can use this function because in fact, put char is a standard C function that should be on every compiler. Next up, there's put C. So just put C. This guy will take in two parameters, in fact. Uh, the first parameter is the character, but the second one is actually a stream to output it to. So you can use this to sort of write two files, really. Um, here I can just say std out to mimic what put char was doing. So if I try to run this, you'll notice I still get E on the console here. And in fact, this and put char are equivalent. So they are 100% equivalent. You can use either one of those, whichever you want, if you uh, use here std out as a second parameter. Now, the return value of all these uh, functions is actually the character that it wrote on the screen. So if I, for example, have here, uh, this guy returns an int. So I'm going to keep on uh, declaring here an int variable. So I'm going to say int and call it, let's say, result. And let's print f that result. So I'm going to say here percent. So result is percent c and a backslash and why not? And then result. So if I try to run this, you'll notice I'm going to get result e here. At the end, I also get e printed on the screen. So that's nice. But what this is usually used for is for checking if any error occurred when writing to the file. So now writing to the standard output is not going to give me any errors. But if I try to, for example, write to the standard input uh, and try to run this, you'll notice I get nothing printed on the screen. That's because put C actually returned EOF. So I can check here if res is EOF to Let's say print a print error on the screen. Why not? And let's comment this out. So if I try to run this now, you'll notice I get error on the screen. Besides put C, there's also F put C, which does exactly the same thing as put C, except it has a, a standard naming convention in that it has F at the beginning due to the fact that it can work with files. Right, because it takes a stream as the second parameter. Now, so far we looked at a uh, standard C function. So all of these that we've looked at so far, you can use in any project in C. Uh, next up is a more interesting one called put ch. So put ch takes in only one parameter and also returns whatever you uh, print on the screen. So if I try to run this, I'm just going to get E on the screen, but if I also comment or uncomment this part, I'm going to get the same result. What is interesting about this put ch function is that it's not inside the C standard nor inside POSIX, it's just inside the Windows API, right? It's left over from MS-DOS from what I researched. So this function, if you use it, make sure you only use it on Windows because this is certainly not going to work on any other uh, operating system. And one last function here we have f put char. And this is again a very weird outlier. It is a deprecated function inside the C standard. And it again doesn't uh, abide by the standard naming conventions in that it has f at the beginning, but it doesn't take in any uh, streams inside its uh, parameters. It only takes in the uh, character and it simply outputs it on the standard output basically on the console. So if I try to run this, you'll notice that I get an error saying that the name is actually deprecated. So you shouldn't use this function, but if you really want to, you can by prefixing it with an underscore and in that it lets you actually execute this function. It's going to do the same thing as any other, uh, 
character output functions we've dealt with so far, right? And that's all there is to all these uh, simple character output functions. Uh, some are in the standard, some can be used uh, interchangeably even, so right, you can use put C with std out, or you can use just put char, uh, you can use f put C if you really want to, those three are all in the standard, and uh, put ch shouldn't be used most of the time, and as well as this one, since its name is deprecated. All right, I hope you got something out of this video, I know it was short. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.